Joining me right now is the CEO of HP and Clinton supporter Meg Whitman. Thank you, Meg Whitman. Thank you, ma Madam. I want to ask you about this. Uh, about what is it? What is the key reason that would stop you from voting for Donald Trump? If there was one thing that said, no matter what else changed, this is the thing that would stop me. Well, as you know, as a lifelong Republican, right, voting, um, uh, going across party lines to, to vote for Hillary Clinton and be a supporter was a challenge. But I think Donald Trump is a dishonest demagogue. He has exploited our worst fears um, around xenophobia, racism, and he has lowered the level of discourse in this country, which I think is really, really unfortunate. So I'm for Hillary all the way. Well, well the, uh, I, I'm asking you, what is the one issue that bugs you? I mean, do you like the fact that he's for, he says he's against trade, he's against TPP, he's against NAFTA? Does that bother you? You know, I actually think it is his character that is the most problematic okay. for me. I think we need to look up to the president of the United States. I think he needs to be a role model or she needs to be a role model for our children. And so it really is around the character that I think bothers me the most. Yes, I don't agree with his trade policies. I don't agree with his immigration policies. There's lots I don't agree with. But what I will say is I think it's about the character of the person. What about the fact that over 60 percent of the American people don't like that, don't trust either Hillary Clinton or, Barack, or, or uh, Donald Trump? We see these numbers every day. You see them. What do you make of them? How do you explain them? Both candidates not being trusted. Yeah, listen, I mean, it's a it's a very it's an unprecedented election. I've never seen anything like this in my entire career. But one of these two individuals will be president of the United States. And I think Hillary has the temperament. I think she has the global experience. I think she have, has the economic plan that is going to make the economy work for everybody. And I really like the fact that she is going to pull this country together because we are going to be stronger together. Divided we fall, united we stand. And I think she's going to do a great job after the election when she wins of pulling this country together, which I think is really important. You were backing Chris Christie. Uh, he's gotten involved with this whole Bridgegate problem. You trusted him. Do you trust Hillary, Hillary Clinton and Chris Christie both to this day? Both of them? Well, listen, I was, I was a supporter of Chris Christie. I thought he had done a lot of very good things in his career. I was disappointed around his uh, endorsement of Donald Trump. And obviously, you know, the Bridgegate thing has been problematic. But listen, you know, what I really think that Hillary brings to the party is the economic policy. You know, if the president could only work on one thing, and the president needs to do a lot of things, it would be to fix the economy for average working yeah. people. Which Hillary do you believe? Because well, this is tricky. This is tricky. One last question. We're hearing that yep. Hillary Clinton, thanks to WikiLeaks, has come out for open trade, open borders, free trade in the hemisphere. But publicly, her public position has been, I'm against TPP. I'm questioning NAFTA. Which is she, a free trade or a protectionist? Because we're getting different messages from her. And which do you like? Yeah. Well, listen, I think smart trade deals are important. Listen, it's very important for the economy of the United States to trade with other countries. Isolationism will not be the right answer for, uh, for this country. So we got to do smart trade deals. And I think Hillary's for smart trade deals. But that doesn't say whether she's a free trader or a protectionist. Which is she? Which do you like? Well, you know what? Usually these things aren't black and white, are they, Chris? You know, you're a free trader if yes, the deal is smart. Are. You're against trade. Yes, they are. You're against trade no, no, if, no, uh, no. if the deals are not smart. Meg Whitman, I, with all due respect, you have to be for TP or against it. Are you for TPP? I am for TPP. Yes, I am. Where, where, where's Hillary on TPP? So she's against it. And uh, not that I agree with every single thing that Hillary Clinton But you said Clinton, the most important um, thing is the economy. It? You said the most important issue is the economy, and you disagree with Absolutely. her on her role in the world economically. So where do you agree with her on economics? So, first of all, I agree on her infrastructure program. We need to rebuild the infrastructure in this country. It not only provides jobs, but it actually creates yeah, the ability for too. goods and services and people to move around this country. The second area is her innovation agenda. We have got to own the next generation of industries in, in the world, whether that's 3D printing or immunotherapy or robotics or artificial intelligence or um, big data and analytics. And we need to make sure that we are the leader in those uh, categories that we create jobs for every kind of American with all kinds of educational backgrounds. And we can do that if we set our mind to it and we decide as a country we want to make sure that we lead in these brand new industries that over time will create a lot of jobs for this country. Thank you so much. It's an honor having you on the show. Meg Whitman tonight uh, from Hewlett Packard.